Hey everybody, David Lemon here. I just wanted to inform you about new update that we did for Groove Pages, which consists of some new features, improvements, and some fixes. So I'm just going to go through everything, starting with the new features here. So we added a draft mode for Groove Pages. A draft mode it can be found here at the, at the page level. When you go into the settings of pages, all pages except the one that is marked as index page. So if you have an index page, you cannot mark it as a draft because this is kind of the main page for the root domain. So if you go into the settings, you will not see anything here. But if you go into another page, for example, this about us page, if I go into the settings, I can see that there is a draft mode here. So the draft mode is pretty much going to disable the page from being shown live. And that's its whole purpose. So you can publish the whole page, but while still uh, you are still working on this one, you can put it at the draft mode, it will uh, just not be visible live, it will still show up in the actual um, navigation over here, so that it is a page that you can you can see that it is going to be ready, but it's not going to be opened. It's going to show a 404 page once you uh, publish it out and you click on it. Also for the draft mode currently, you need to disable the hide, or I mean, you need to enable the hide from sitemap option in case you do not want the, the sitemap to consist that draft page while you are still working on it. We are going to automate this one in the future. So when you turn on the draft mode, it's going to hide it from the sitemap, but currently toggle this on to hide it from, uh, from being shown live. And then you can toggle this on so that it doesn't show in the sitemap either. So here is the actual uh, setting how it looks like. So you, once you publish everything out, you need to publish the whole site because this is a site, uh, site related setting for the sitemap and also the draft mode. So once you publish your site, it's going to publish out all of those pages, but for the one that you marked as, uh, as a draft, it's not going to show, show it properly. It's just going to show up the actual, uh, 404 page. So let me just open up this one. And as you can see, this is a 404 page here, but if I open up the site, it's going to load the site, but the about us is going to be 404 because it is in draft mode. So everything else is going to load fine. So this is the draft mode. This is the first, uh, option that I wanted to show you. Then we have some improvements here. So for the tab element, we had some UI issues when you add a tab element, which is here elements, and then we have tabs here. So the tab element consists of three actual components. The first one is the tab container, which let's just put here. Uh, yeah, let's just put it here. And then you put in tab heads and then the tab content into that container. This is how you create your tabs. Now, what happened is when you go and configure the tabs over here, uh, you were adding a lot of tabs and it was just adding it with a name tab. First, you didn't know which one is the new one that got added, which one was the old one. And now we renamed it and made it a little bit, uh, a little bit more easier on the eye. So when it's getting added, you see what, which one is getting added and you get a, a scroll bar over here. We didn't get a scroll bar and it was kind of all messy. So we have limited it up to 20 different tabs. Otherwise in our test, uh, the whole page started timing out because all of this content was loading on the tabs. So this is the maximum number of tabs that you can create. And then once you update this one, it creates it with those names and then uh, over here, we did the same improvements as well for the content. So the content is this content area section. If you have worked with tabs before, then you know it, how it works, but it's pretty much you add those, uh, those tabs and then the 10 mark, it starts just creating a, a new scroll bar. So you can also create 20 different content areas. And in order to connect the content area with the, with the tab heads, you just click over here and then you just connect it over here. So you can do that for, for each and every one of these. And then once you're done, you click the update. So the whole UI of this tab element was improved because previously it was overflowing on the sides and uh, the whole thing was a mess when you added more than five tabs or so. So that's one of these improvements that we did. We also did this improvement, which is keep page and site settings uh, while switching tabs. What this means is that when you did some of the settings over here, for example, 
and then you were working on page slug for example if we type in here new and then you went to SEO and then you worked in metadata let's just say about us or something like that and then you switch to this one and this one all of the other settings that you worked on before disappeared now as you can see this one stayed this one stayed as well so it's not now not needed to click save after each every edition but you can go through all of these settings first and then once you're done with everything then you click save this was not done before every time you switch the tab over here or here of of these page settings then it pretty much disappeared it looked like a bug but it was just not saving it why because you switched on a different a uh, different page or a different tab so that has been now improved so it doesn't disappear as the folder name on funnel and webinar creation this is very handy for when you're creating uh, webinars or funnels and then once you go and select a template for example let's just say that we want to import this one we immediately ask you for the name over here previously it was not asking for a name it was just like a random one and then you had to go and edit everything backwards so now what we did is when you're creating any kind of new funnel or a webinar it's like when you're creating a new site immediately ask you for the name so let's just say here uh, coaching funnel and then we can start import and as you can see the coaching funnel name has been done here and we also included it here so if we, if you come here you see immediately which one is which one so over here in the funnel settings this is the name where you can change it and then you can also enable this funnel slug where you can add the, the funnel folder name that you want so that has been improved then we also rearranged the groove elements and included them in other categories as well so the groove elements are these ones with the G logo the groove apps previously it was on the top and it looked a little bit um, it looked outside because all of the elements were here and then everything was listed below but the groove elements were on the top and it didn't look like um, an, a selectable option so now we moved it lower so then you can click on it and you can see all of the the elements that are related to other groove apps but we also included them in other places like the groove cell button is also now uh, here has its own category for groove apps then also the, for example the form forms have groove mail forms and things like that so we added them into other categories as well all right, let's move on to the fixes. I just wanted to mention some of the fixes that we did. So we did uh, minor improvements on the whole, let me just remove this one quickly, um, on the whole Groove Cell Checkout element. So here, Groove Cell Checkout form. When you went in here and you wanted to go with an external checkout code, this code, uh, embed code box was all messed up. It was white and it, it didn't look nice. So we improved this UI and uh, the meta info uh, tab could not be opened so over here when we go into some of the page settings and we have SEO metadata when you clicked on this one this didn't open for some reason now that was fixed as well creating global block adds two at the same time so when you went into um, oops wrong button here so when you went into global blocks and you created a global block let's just let's just see this one here it created two so I'm just going to delete each and every one of these so that you can see that it has been fixed all right so we have global block four if I add a new one it's global block two and it doesn't show another one it is just one added uh, horizontal tab losing styling when zooming in and out what this means is that if we go on to the home page for example now it's saving my changes let's give it a moment we're at the global block all right so we are here at the home page and then when we preview this middle device or the so pretty much the the tablet devices this one and this one were giving the issues when you you were at the 90 percent level with your browser then the styling got 
uh, disappeared. So it was pretty much removing all of the styling for some reason. Now this is this has been fixed. It is not doing that anymore. Um, a lot of times when people were at the 90% level with their uh, with their browser and then they entered the builder and saw that the styling was was removed, then they immediately um, got frustrated, went to support. It was just a, a, a Chrome issue. And now we have resolved that it does not happen again. All right, and then the Groove Mail form is considered as an integration that causes issues on free plans. What we did with this one is when you add a Groove Mail form element anywhere on the page, it is not considered anymore as an external integration. The reason for this change is because when you are on a free account, you have ability to collect contacts using Groove Mail and you would like to use the Groove Mail form, right? So uh, we do not allow the code embed element on the free accounts, but the, the Groove Mail element is the one that you could use. So now it is not giving out any more issues when you would like to publish and you're on a free account and you have a Groove Mail form on there. So these are the actual changes and uh, improvements and fixes that we released. We have many, many more coming. We have pretty much 20, 30 more uh cards or many, uh, 30 more tasks that are uh, in the testing period at this moment. So I'm going to uh, create a new video once those are ready to be announced. And yeah, that's it. Hope you like it and then enjoy building your pages.